Hello everyone and welcome to another hybrid squad builder of mine. Uh, this one's going to be a 4-5-1 formation and it's a Bundesliga and a League 1 hybrid. So I recently used this one to uh, win the best of the best tournament and it was all uh, focused around this one or this guy that I wanted to try out that I will be releasing a player review on in the upcoming days. So. Yeah, the team I built was around the 84, first and foremost Lewandowski, who is a pretty good player, but I'll talk about him in the player review. So, the goalkeeper that we used for this formation was Mandanda, who is a pretty good keeper. Uh, I think I got him for around 2,000 coins, so, yeah, for being an 84 rated keeper, he was pretty good, pretty solid in goal. He just, he just let go of the ball when it was like crossed in, so I did concede a lot of headers. And uh, we'll move right on to the defense. And uh, this was one player that I really enjoyed using was Kirkhoff, who I think has just transferred to Bayern Munich. And he's got 72 pace, 74 defending, 74 heading, and he is six foot five, so he's he's a really big guy, and he'll win you a lot of headers in the air. And he's, he was only a thousand coins, but I think I picked this one up on the cheap. The other ones were going for around three thousand. So who knows what'll happen to his price once his Bayern Munich card comes out. But his, uh, the other center back, his center back partner is Nkolu, I think that's how it's pronounced. He's got 79 pace, 60, uh, 80 defending, and 76 heading. So he's not very tall. I think he's only 5, oh, well, 5'11's okay. But I did uh, concede some goals from crosses. And uh, Mandanda's handling uh, didn't help. And uh, his height was not very impressive. But he is pretty good. He does have, he is very pacey and has pretty good defending. And he gets that strong link with, Man with uh, Mandanda. That's why they both get 9 cam. Uh, we'll move on to the right back. And that's Philip Lam, who I know a lot of people have used already. And he cost me around 16,750 coins. But I did buy this team, um, I think, maybe three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. So I've only managed to play around nine games with them. But he's a pretty good defender. Again, he's very short. So he gets beaten a lot in... Uh, crosses but he is a very high rated defender and he's a uh, pretty good uh, I recommend him but I think in a few weeks his price will keep going down so if you plan on using him I, I'd suggest waiting a few weeks so our left back in this squad is Bedimo who plays for Montpellier in League One and uh, I guess he just did the job he was mainly there for chemistry reasons but he wasn't very bad and he did get a couple of assists uh, bombing down the left wing he does have a high medium work rate so he does get up there a lot and helps out our midfielders, which is pretty good since the midfielders in the 4-5-1 formation don't tend to go up too often. So our right mid was Jefferson Farfan, and he didn't really, really impress me. I was expecting a lot from him after uh, hearing so many good reviews about this player, but his first touch did let me down a few times. Maybe it was just me trying to sprint uh, when passing the ball, but the best thing about him is definitely his 91 pace. And he does have pretty good dribbling, his four-star skills, and his on-card stats are pretty good. Maybe he just uh, didn't work for me, maybe in this position, or maybe, you know, I just didn't get quite lucky with him. But he cost me, oh, he cost me around, yeah, less than a thousand coins, 850 coins. So not a bad player to get uh, if you're building a Bundesliga squad. So the left mid is uh, Lavetsi, who I think you all know, I, he cost me around let's see 10,000 coins and I was his second owner so who knows if I had gotten him for uh, for a bargain or not but he's got 93 pace 4 star skills 77 shooting 90 dribbling and uh, 74 passing so him and Farfan both have 90 plus pace which is pretty good for the left and right mid since you need them to go up in a hurry and to come back down but he was definitely a lot better in my opinion than Farfan he is 86 rated so two points better than Farfan, but he did score a lot more goals for me. Uh, he scored five goals in five games, so pretty good. He does have four-star weak foot, so I, I recommend trying him out. But again, I think his price will continue to go down in the upcoming weeks. So we'll move on to the center mid, and he was actually a center defensive mid that I converted to a center mid, and that's Polanski, who is there for the connection with Kirkov. But he he was a surprising uh, signing. You know, he's only 75 rated and was very very cheap only cost me 300 coins and his stats don't appear to be uh, very impressive but he does have a high defensive work rate and that's what I wanted for the center mid someone who would stay back 
in this formation to help clog up the midfield. So uh, we'll move on to the center attacking mids, and our left center attacking mid is Rafael van der, or right center attacking mid is Rafael van der Vaart, so that he can shoot with his left foot, and he does also have four star skills. For being an 85 rated player, he only cost me 950 coins, I believe, and he was he was fantastic. Uh, I I really enjoyed using him. He's got 64 pace, so that's mainly the reason why he is so cheap, and that just tells you what kind of players the FIFA community are because someone as highly rated as him is only 950 coins because he has 64 pace but I really enjoyed using him and he does have really good free kick stats and a very good free kick taker and very good shooter, passer and dribbler of the ball and our other center attacking mid is Obraniak who does have an inform but I wanted to make this team solely around Lewandowski so I went for the regular card who has 75 pace, 79 shooting, 82 passing, 78 dribbling a really good player there. I think he has three star skills and is left footed. So we have two left footed players in our attacking mid. And then we've got Lewandowski playing striker, who cost me 70,000 coins at the time that I bought him. And now his price has risen to, I think, 90,000. So he was a pretty good investment there. As you can see, he is six feet tall, 83 pace, 79 shooting, and 83 heading, and 85 dribbling. So he is also a very good player, but I'll talk more about him more in uh, his player review. So this was the squad that I've been using recently. It's one that I actually really enjoyed using. And uh, I think I may build this uh, team again. Maybe with better players. Or definitely when they get a lot cheaper as the year goes on. So I hope you enjoyed this team. Uh, honestly, the most expensive player was Lewandowski. But you can easily get his non in form for less than a thousand coins. So this team uh, is only expensive when you consider Philip Lom and Lavetsi. But I really recommend trying it out. It was a lot of fun to use. It did win me the best of the best tournament. And uh, this is a team that you can see in the penalty shootouts that I put up. But other than that, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this team. And I will see you guys next time. Yeah, so what the fuck you waiting on? You ain't gotta worry about me no more. Cause I'm gonna be fine for sure. So fuck. Cause I'ma do me And I'ma be just fine Yeah, 95 on the 4 or 5 You tryna live your life or just stay alive We've been grinding hella hard Tryna kick your head into our goal Fuck a yellow car, life is what you settle for Pump it up a level more Better view, bigger doors Up a level, killer shit Elevate a top floor Underdogs watch for them Till this shit is not foreign I wanna blow a couple stacks Cause it got bored Keep a couple meters running this until I'm keep up Cause I will never kick my feet up the